se zahvalim na... Thank you very much. I cannot uh, thank you for the invitation uh, for my presentation because I'm one of the organizers. In the paper, we are dealing with uh, partridges, grey partridges. Uh, feather birds. Uh, I would add uh, also uh, feather birds, wild uh, bird ga game, which is uh, successfully surviving ne uh, the, regarding, regardless of the problems that it's facing. The population of uh, grey partridges during uh, the annual uh, life cycles go through critical periods. We uh, showed uh, the spring-summer period, the autumn period, and the winter period. In the first spring-summer um, period, the main factors are we, well, the main factors which affect uh, on the reduction of the population uh, are uh, the uh, predation of nests and adult females. This is great pressure on uh, this population uh, from uh, feathered preda predators to uh, different uh, other predators, hedgehogs, then the mowing and reaping with agricultural machinery. Uh, well, because the mowing is done uh, uh, nearing the end of the incubation of eggs, and uh, uh, finally the mortality of uh, 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 of the young birds while they are uh, still uh, uh, very young, uh, the bad climatic conditions, and the use of uh, pesticides and uh, herbicides. Uh, so climatic conditions and the use of uh, chemical uh, substances uh, cause uh, uh, the lack of uh, uh, food for the uh, grey partridges. Uh, in the first uh, weeks of uh, life. The other critical period is the autumn period. After uh, uh, the uh, plenty of uh, food that they had during the spring and summer, when they have uh, places to hide and where they have uh, uh, enough food, uh, because of the crops and uh, other cultural, uh, everything is uh, reaped, and then uh, and uh, then the uh, grey partridge uh, uh, loses uh, life space and loses uh, food. Uh, in addition to all that, uh, the hunting season uh, starts uh, in that period. And uh, this, uh, after these factors, we, we uh, then uh, come to the hunting, uh, so uh, a great mortality in the uh, pa great partridge population. Uh, feeding uh, and uh, reproduction and uh, hiding uh, of grey partridges is uh, on uh, the land, and during the winter period, uh, which is the most critical period of her life cycle, uh, when uh, the losses are the greatest, uh, there are uh, uh, a lot of consequences on the whole population. Uh, the main factor of mortality is uh, uh, the lack of food and lack of shelter. Uh, it, uh, this uh, type of uh, bird can uh, endure extreme uh, low temperatures and uh, even uh, if uh, the snow is not uh, that deep, if, if it is not lasting too long. The reproductive uh, potential of the grey partridge is uh, defined by the general type of uh, uh, the population, determining uh, the real mortality of uh, grey partridges. We can determine whether the population is uh, uh, growing or uh, being uh, or declining from generation to generation. Uh, therefore, we tried to determine the winter mortalities in the population of grey partridges, determining the losses. But uh, 
in hunting, we use uh, the term winter losses uh, from the beginning of uh, the uh, hunting season. So uh, we include the losses which occur during uh, the autumn period which are the result of the shrinking uh, of uh, the habitat, the lack of shelter and lack of food. Uh, so uh, I tried uh, to uh, deduce uh, what are the actual winter losses which uh, occur during the winter and not during uh, from the beginning of the hunting season uh, until the next uh, reproduction period. The research was conducted uh, in part of the hunting ground of the Faculty of uh, Forests, uh, which is a typical uh, habitat of uh, grey partridges, uh, because uh, the height is optimal, uh, it is uh, uh, the right uh, habitat for that uh, type of uh, game, and the structure of the area is ideal because of uh, the crops uh, uh, which are found there. Uh, then the areas are small, uh, 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 maximally one hectare. Uh, bigger areas are uh, rare and they are uh, near uh, rivers and most uh, of uh, these uh, areas are uh, uh, non-arable. Uh, the counting, the census was done in two periods, uh, from the 15th of December until the 31st of December. Until the new year, uh, the population was counted after the hunting, before uh, the beginning of the winter, because uh, the winter uh, in Macedonia becomes, begins uh, around the new year, uh, rarely uh, earlier. Other data was gathered before the beginning of the reproduction, uh, from the 1st of uh, March uh, to the 15th of March, when uh, the part great partridges start to reproduce. And uh, I am against uh, the traditional census, uh, counting through one day with a lot of participants, because from experience I know that we can make uh, great mistakes. Uh, if you count uh, the same area uh, with uh, the same number of people, you can get different results. So I prefer that uh, we count a bird game uh, not in the traditional way, but rather to follow its population. If the areas are small uh, and if the hunting grounds are specific, we can determine the, num the density and uh, the uh, abundance of the population with uh, a lot less participants and w with using dogs uh, because uh, this is not 10% uh, of one hunting ground, but it is uh, the actual uh, hunting ground, a smaller area of hunting ground. The winter losses were calculated according to this simple formula. Uh, the winter losses uh, equaled uh, the population number at the end of hunting season uh, minus uh, the number in spring at the first uh, uh, following year. Uh, so uh, the population number at the end of the hunting season and the number of the spring uh, uh, abundance are the main uh, factors. The results uh, show, uh, you can see them in the first column, uh, the, it is the abundance of the population and uh, uh, before the hunting, uh, before the winter and uh, then the parent, uh, parent fund, parent stock, uh, then uh, the final column is uh, the winter losses in absolute values. And in the final column, we calculated the winter losses uh, as a percentage uh, uh, from the uh, autumn population. Uh, here are uh, the uh, parameters which uh, show the uh, density of the population on 100 hectares. But the characteristics uh, in this uh, and the absolute uh, amounts shows the great variability of winter losses so from 31 to 110, which shows that the coefficient of uh, var variables is uh, high. Uh, we have. Uh, 
In winter losses, percentages uh, compared to the autumn abundance, uh, the 61.80 is uh, the most important result we got. <coughs> this is a uh, uh, graphicon showing uh, uh, the population number at the amount uh, uh, of winter losses per year in absolute values. It follows the density of the population at the end of the hunting season. Absolutely following it uh, uh, as it is declining, we can see the decline in the chart because uh, the high uh, coefficient of correlation between these two parameters. I believe that uh, uh, this chart uh, shows the values of winter losses, but we need to be careful because uh, it has two uh, ordinates. We have uh, the uh, abundance. Uh, and on the right hand, uh, we have the winter losses uh, in percentages compared to the uh, abundance. So the vertical uh, uh, parts of the chart uh, show the winter, uh, the winter losses, and the percentages are given in the right hand uh, at the beginning of uh, winter. The amount of uh, losses in the last column is above of the histogram because uh, and because we read uh, this uh, chart uh, from two different sides. I think that the most significant thing is that uh, from the beginning of the research, 2007 and 2008, the abundance was uh, uh, very high, and 2013 to, uh, 2012 and 2013, it was uh, much less. Uh, the winter losses equaled 43.1 in both cases, uh, which is uh, the average uh, of, through the whole period of the research. I think the average was 46.7. Uh, so I can conclude from that, and I can assume that uh, the percentage of the winter losses for each hunting ground, for, for those who manage the hunting ground uh, or area do, in, inside the hunting ground, there are specific uh, characteristics which we need to know concerning grape partages, the ecological uh, factors of the habitat, especially concerning the winter period, the shelter, uh, and uh, also uh, the amount of uh, arable land in the uh, in the habitat of uh, the grape partages, including the uh, arable crops and measures. Uh, so there are certain conditions which uh, allow us to determine that uh, the amount of losses, the average, is around 50 uh, percent. Uh, so through the correction of uh, the uh, hunting them. Before the beginning of the hunting season, we can determine uh, the stock of uh, uh, the quota which we can hunt, uh, so we can either increase or reduce uh, uh, the population uh, to the numbers, to the abundance that we know that will give us uh, enough uh, population, enough density of population after the winter losses, uh, so it can keep uh, to re reproducing and can be maximally used. If uh, the abundance is drastically less, uh, we can uh, uh, suspend hunting for a period. Uh, so the 46% uh, percent, uh, which are lost uh, uh, naturally, we cannot affect them, but we can determine uh, the uh, hunt, uh, bag, hunting bag and uh, manage uh, the grey partage population in a rational way, uh, which uh, allows us a sustainable way with maximal results. Thank you for your attention.